Okay, so for this lab, we're going to need our iPad, LabQuest device, a degree wheel, laminated sheet, bar magnet, a magnetic probe. This is going to connect to our LabQuest device and a piece of tape. We can set up our LabQuest device right away. So I'm going to take my magnetic uh, sensor, plug it into channel one. One quick thing about this magnetic sensor, so you can pivot this in two directions. We're going to be using both for this lab. Um, so you can pivot straight ahead or to this side right here. So they're marked right here and here. You can't pivot this back. It's not going to work and it'll probably break the probe. Once you've connected the probe, um, I'm going to set up our settings here. So click in our settings. Our rate is going to be two samples per second. So two samples per second. And our duration, we're actually going to leave this the same. So our duration for this is going to be 10 seconds. Hit OK. You want to make sure that your uh, magnetic sensor is down at 6.4. So that'll read three decimal places on here. 6.4 for this first procedure. I'm going to tape this down loosely just so it's sitting up like this. So you want the end up for this part. We're going to take a bar magnet, and what I'm going to do here is take the south end of the bar magnet and move it down for about five seconds, and then move it up for the remaining five seconds. So for a 10 minute experiment, I'm going to move it down for five seconds and then up for the remaining five seconds. So I'm going to get my lab quest ready. And I'll hit play. Move it down. And back up like that. So same idea for this next experiment. I'm going to hit the filing cabinet. Oops. Filing cabinet. So we'll start a run two. This time we're going to do the same thing, but with the north end of the magnet. So north end of the magnet down and then back up. So I'll hit play. For the third trial here, I'll go into the filing cabinet again. We'll start a run three. This time I taped the magnetic probe down. So you want the tip of the probe facing down. I taped it in a couple different places to get it to stay. Um, we're going to go south end again. So we're going to run a similar trial, but this time we're facing down. So this will be similar to the first run. So again, south magnet down, and then we'll pull back up. So I'll start the trial. And then for our final run, run four, one more time hitting the filing cabinet. And we're going to use our north end again. North end facing down, probe facing down. Wow. So once you've got your four runs, uh, we can connect to graphical analysis. If you click anywhere on the y-axis here, you can pull up all of your runs all at once. So there's our runs. So this is the data that you're going to need uh, for your screenshots here.
So we can do them individually. We'll start with run one. I would recommend leaving this key up here when you do your screenshot so uh, I can tell which run is which. So we'll take screenshots. Looking at our lab PDF here, I'm going to let you guys answer the first three questions. Let me know if you need anything like paper clips or other metals. Um, they should be somewhere in the front of the room. Let me know if you need any help with that. I already inserted my images here for the first four trials. What I want you to do also is draw in kind of how our magnetic probe was positioned. So for trial one, it was positioned up and the south end of the magnet was pointing down. For trial two, it was pointing up again. But the north end of our magnet was pointing down. Trial three, we flipped it. And then we had the south pointing down, so we had the Top of the probe down, but the south magnet still coming down like that. And for trial four, down again, and our north magnet positioned down. If we look at the values here, I'm going to label in anything above that x axis is going to be a positive value. So we had a positive value here. Looks like we had two negative values. And a positive value. So what we just talked about should be all you need to answer the last two questions for part one. Let me know if you have any questions with that. Uh, and once you're done filling that out, we're gonna move on to part two. For part two, we're gonna use this degree wheel. First thing I want you to do, set the south end of the magnet at 90 degrees. So south end of the magnet at 90 degrees. In here, on our lab quest, make sure you're back on this home screen so you're probably going to have to clear out of the last trial you did. You can go File, New, and you're going to want to discard that last experiment as long as you have it on graphical analysis. Our mode is going to be events with entry for part two. And the name of our event is going to be position. And our units are going to be in degrees. All right. And I'm going to hit play right away because it's events with entry. So we're just getting live readings here. So what you're going to want to do for this trial is take your magnetic probe, you're going to put it in the middle here, and for the first degree, you're going to want to line it up with zero. So line it up with zero. And once it's stabilized just a little bit here, I'm going to hit keep. And you're going to label your position, so we're at zero degrees. And so we're going to repeat this all the way around. So I'm going to move it to 15 degrees. Thirty degrees. Forty five degrees. And so on. We're just going to keep moving it around, hitting keep, and punching in where we are degrees wise 60 degrees.
Oh, phew. All right, so this should be good for our data here. We're gonna connect this to graphical analysis. Okay, so this data is looking pretty good. Um, fits a pretty nice curve. Maybe something went a little wonky right here, but otherwise looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna hit graph tools, go to graph options, appearance, and we're gonna do points and lines. So both points and lines. And this should be good for your graph. Um, if you double click it, you can fit it better to the page. Uh, and then we'll take a screenshot. For part three of the lab, we're going to use our magnetic probe and our lab quest. I'm going to clear this out really quick. So we have a new live reading. We're gonna switch the... So make sure to set your probe to 0 0.32 for this experiment. The reason that we're doing that is because you'll get a more accurate reading at four decimal places. Push your probe so that the tip is facing up. And when you do this, zero out your magnetic reading on your LabQuest device. So what we're gonna be doing for part of the third procedure here kind of like what I'm doing in the upper right, is stand up and circle around the room. Uh, I want you to just kind of eyeball reading. So north, east, south, and west. Uh, move around a couple times to get a good idea of what those readings look like. And then we're gonna do two more things. You're gonna point down to the core of the earth. So point your probe straight down and then pro point your probe straight up as well. So we wanna get kind of a eyeball reading between northeast, southwest, and then up and down for our magnetic probe. And those will help you answer the questions for part three of the lab here. All right, so the rest of these questions you should be able to answer on your own. For some of these last few questions here, you might need to uh, research in your iBook or on the internet, or just ask me. This was our Exploring Magnetism Lab. Thank you for watching.